Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome to beginning assembly language tutorial number two. We're going to go over how to start working in DOSBox. So we're going to be use DOS. I'm going to be using DOSBox for everything, um, editing, writing. So editing, writing, linking, everything. Everything's going to be in DOSBox. You're not going to see any other Notepad, so it will be a lot easier for you to follow. So what we're going to do first is we have to mount our drive because as you see it's got some random C, uh, Z drive on there so by default it is not able to see our drive. So what we're going to do is first type in mount then type in C then type in well this depends on whatever drive you 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 put in there and then we're going to do the folder so we did 8086 is the name of our folder and it says it's now mounted. So now we're going to say um, now we're just going to say edit. Oh wait, no, sorry, sorry. We're going to we're we're just going to change to C. Now we're in the C drive. We jumped in the C. Now we changed it, and you see that down here it's got the C there. So now we can jump into edit. Now we're in the edit. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to type in exactly what I have here. So what we're going to do is first we're going to do dot model small dot stack hundred hex dot data data uh, message so we're going to do message declare byte hello my name is Steven and then we're going to close that 13 line feed dollar sign there it is Oops, I already had that. I thought I was missing something. Dollar sign. Okay. Dot code. And by the way, on assembly, just a little note is that uh, it's not case sensitive. Most of the time it's not case sensitive. There's only a couple times when it is case sensitive. So we're just going to keep moving on. So we're going to say hello, proc, move AX to at data. I'm sorry, move A. Move, a, move data into AX, move AX into D, DS, move DX to, and then offset message, message, move AH, and move 9H, 21H, interrupt, sorry about that, move AL, 0. Move a high four ch. It's supposed to actually be zero four ch, but and twenty one h. Hello and p and hello. Okay. Now what you're gonna want to do is this is actually click friendly, so you can go here and hit jump in. And now you see my little browser thing. Go file, save as. You're gonna tell it save it as um, let's say first dot asm and say okay. Now, if you go into your if you go into your folder, it will actually be in there. But I'm not gonna actually show you. You could just trust me that it that it actually created that inside your folder. So let's go ahead and hit um, close here oops exit sorry exit and then what you're gonna do is say link sorry about that I jumped a step you're gonna do the masm first masm first dot asm and then you're gonna do this guy otherwise it asks you a whole bunch of questions that you just enter through so you say first dot asm it says zero warnings, went through without a problem. And then you're going to create the exe. So now you just create the obj. Now if you look in there, you'll see the obj, which is an object. And then you're going to use the object um, to link it. So you're going to say link first dot obj. And there you go. Now it's already done. Now you're just going to do um, Now you're just going to run it. So all you got to do is just put first and there you go there is your first um, DOS box assembly language program now all we had here is a uh, just to output your name 
and it's a very very simple program and we will extend on this a lot so very very quick and if you're asking every time you have to start up DOSBox do you have to do this yes every time you come up with a new program do you have to do this yes do you have to rebuild your program every time yes if that is your question, that is your answer. You could go back and just hit edit again and go in here and open back up that folder. So we got, we're looking for first, first.asm. And there we go. Now we can edit this and then save it over the top and then do the same thing again. So you do masm. First, so, so let me show you a quicker way to do it. So go ahead and hit exit. You just say masm first, link first, first. There you go. Now you're all, all the way through. So it it automatically knows what you're looking for. It automatically assumes that it's a dot uh, asm, and then it automatically assumes it's a dot obj and then it automatically assumes when you run it that it's an exe so that is it that is the quick way to do it two seconds and you're through and of course you could you could edit that in notepad you want to do notepad you could do notepad um, go ahead and edit it inside notepad and then save it and then you have to you have to use the masm to create the obj and then you have to link it and then you could run it so uh, we'll go ahead and jump into it and uh, We'll go ahead and uh, start getting going and learning how to use assembly. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty exciting and pretty cool to see how uh, you know low-end languages work. Or low-level, not low-end. It's definitely high-end, low-level language. All right, so I'll see you uh, next tutorial. So this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials. And if you uh, please subscribe for more videos like it in this series and other series like it. And if you have any questions, email me. And uh, if you would like to see the reference for this book before we get started, it is inside the, the link in the description. And uh, I will see you next video. Take it easy.